Let's get to throwing. That's one small step for man. Hold on to your butt. The universe is in us. For science! I'm Nick Yost, host of Science Show Nickopedia. Today we're going to be looking at the science behind the mobile RPG Summoner's War. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the Wind Joker, Lucian. His attacks are legendary. From dungeons to the arena, his most infamous attack, Amputation Magic, where he throws cards at his enemies. If you've leveled and ruined Lucian properly, he can wipe out entire mobs in one hit. So here we are, throwing cards. The whole card throwing thing came about. It was used as a card trick for magicians who were doing shows on stage. They would throw the cards and they would cut small things like paper, something that was very small and didn't have a lot of mass to it, or weight. And what's interesting about this particular card is that if you throw with enough force, it'll actually stick into something like foam, something that's really sort of non-dense. Uh, and so if we increase the mass of the card, it should theoretically stick into things that are actually more durable than let's say foam or wood. Today's experiment is all about figuring out the most efficient weaponized playing card. Our first card is the sharpest. It was literally built on razor blades. Our middle card was built on 1 16th inch stainless steel. Then we have our last card, which is built on 1 8th inch steel. Really the test is what thickness and weight of these metal cards will do the most amount of damage. But of course, you can't just take my word for it or just look at them on this uh, piece of cork board. We're actually gonna have to throw them at something. And so, uh, let's get the throne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's just a regular card. I'll be using the Thurston method, which is holding the card between your pointer finger and your middle finger and tucking it down into the palm of your hand. And then much like a Frisbee, I'm going to be throwing the card out like this and trying to get as much rotation on the card as possible. In science terms, that's called angular momentum. Now what keeps the card rotating is called gyroscopic stabilization. And it's gonna continue to keep this card rotating through the air until it hits its target. Now, if we add more mass to the card, i.e. a metal plate or razor blades, then the card should be able to stick into the target and actually inflict more damage the harder that I throw it. And I'm standing at six feet so that my release is just over five-ish feet. And so we're gonna start there. You guys ready for this? It's pretty great. <laughs> the entire side of the card has stuck. Uh, so this one's a little bit heavier, uh, but not as sharp. I barely released it all, and it stuck directly into the bullseye. Now this one has the most amount of mass. Also, it's about the same sharpness as our king there. That pretty much is the easiest way to throw a card. What happened at five feet is exactly what our prediction was. So the, the card with the most amount of mass has gone the furthest into the foam board, and the card with the least amount of mass, the razor blade card, has gone in the least amount. Again, this is the one with the lowest amount of mass. Still pretty good. Uh, so I certainly missed the target. It's a little harder to control because the card's a little bit heftier, but at least it's stuck into the foam board. So that's pretty cool hard just to hold the card inside of these two fingers. So you're losing a little bit of dexterity. As you can see, uh, our results are a little bit mixed here, but I would have to say that the farther distance, the more mass, the more control that I have. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm impressed. Oh! Barely, it still makes it on the target. Our king card, our mid-range card, almost barely didn't even make it on the foam board. Our ace card, our biggest one, the one with the most amount of mass, uh, pretty much the same thing as our jack card. However, it went much deeper into the foam board itself. 
So in conclusion, if we're gonna rate them in how much damage do they inflict, the ace card certainly wins. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know which of these three cards would you want on the battlefield. And make sure to subscribe to Skybound Games and our partners at Summoner's War. And I'll see you really soon. I have to Yeah. The ace, after all, does inflict the most damage.